Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about how to multiply decimals, focusing on our strategy for the tenths and hundredths. Multiplying decimals is very similar to multiplying whole numbers. We just need to remember where to put the decimal point in our answer. So let's look at an example. Suppose we need to multiply 4 tenths and 38 hundredths. In decimal notation, this will look like 0 0.4 times 0 0.38. We set up our multiplication problem the same way as usual. We write the longer number on top and the shorter number on the bottom. Now we go ahead and multiply, ignoring the decimal points. 8 times 4 is 32, 4 times 3 plus 3 is 15, and 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Now we multiply the 0 times the top line again, and of course that's all zeros. Now we add the two lines and get 0, 1, 5, 2. The remaining question is where to put the decimal point in our answer. To figure this out, we just count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in each part of our problem. So here we have 1, 2, and 3. So in our answer, we count three places from the right, 1, 2, and 3, and put our decimal point right there. So our final answer is 0 0.152. Now let's do another problem where we multiply 12 hundredths times 23 hundredths. We set up our problem like before, and this time it doesn't matter which number is on top since they are the same length. First we multiply the 3 times the top row and get 6. 3, 0, then we shift one place to the left and multiply the 2 times the top row and get 4, 2, 0, and the last line is the 0 times the top row, which gives us all zeros. Now we add up all our products, and we get 0, 0, 2, 7, 6. The last step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal points, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's how many spaces we move in the answer. One, two, three, four. We place our decimal point there, and that gives us the answer, 0 0.0276. And that's how we multiply decimals like tenths and hundreds. My name is Eugenia, and thanks for watching.